once. Hello there, everyone. Uh, give me a second. I have to go put my straps on. You, you never know if I'm going to toss a controller and break my monitor. <laughs> Right now on Farsign, it's 5.03 p.m. on Monday, March 30th, 2020. Now for today's announcements. Today we have visitors staying at the campsite. Go meet our guests in person and find out more about them. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoyed the loveliest of lovely days. It's almost like this is some sort of love line. Well, first of all, I had to get this one. I'm also kind of pissed that a certain somebody used that word so now I can't use it oh well pick that up go look at the mail which is just the stuff that we ordered right no they all sent letters nope stop okay before I read those mails can I can I do this as I just not talk can I wear this and that one? Oh hell yeah <laughs> okay that made my day better. All right, Agnes. To Rockstar Tyler, thanks for the long letter. Hope your hands are okay after writing all that. You need it for important stuff like pulling weeds or fixing bikes and or arm wrestling. If any of that sounds fun to you, hit me up. Ellie. It was so sweet of you to send me a note welcoming me to my new home. If everyone else here is as kind as you, I'm sure I'm going to love this place. I can't wait to get to know everyone on the island. And then to you. I am all happy. Why? Because you sent me an amazing Prezi. After reading it, I went out to stare at the moon and think about how I'll headline the, my first lunar concert. Let's play video games together. Two, two. I have to favor that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Let's go visit the person at the campsite. Boon, we have the same kind of fashion sense. Looking built, Baboom. What's up? Let's talk. Hey, hey. You're working up a big sweat out there, Baboom? Don't forget to stay hydrated. Oh, yeah. And the Sable Sisters are building their shop today. We have a visitor over here. This is about the time where my vault, my vaulting pole is going to break. Nope. Okay. Who's staying here? What? Prungion. My name is Lionel. Glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite. You live on this island, don't you? I figured. Yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're really going to enjoy having me here. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining things, but I feel like everyone wants me to move here. It's just this vibe, you know? Like when you can tell you're going to get the part in a car commercial. I can't... Okay, fine. Wow, I'm honored. An exclusive invitation to an exclusive island for celebrities and entourages. There's one little thing. I'd hate for it to be so exclusive that it's just me. Can you go check with, like, the VIP manager of the whole island first? Just so I know this is legit? Sure thing. Guten Tag. My fate is in your hands. Haha. <laughs> so I have to go talk to Tom Nook for it? He's going to have me build him his home, isn't he? Seriously. <laughs> Please. I mean, I guess I'm fine with it. Ah, oh, Tyler. Hello, hello. We both mentioned it in today's broadcast, but today we have our first guest over at the campsite. Tyler, if you have time or even if you don't have time, make time and go check in on our guests. And if you get if you get an opening, try talk, talking them into moving the far sign. He wants to live here. What? Really, Tyler? You've done it, and so quickly. I'm, I'm sounding a bit monotone, aren't I? Then this means we have no time to waste. Hmm. Our next course of action will be building a new house. No, Tyler. Since you closed the deal with our visitors, you should be the one to pick the case for our new home. Leave it to me. Thank you. I knew you'd agree to it. You'll need a housing kit to set aside a plot for their home, so I'll give you that now. Cool, he didn't even have to hand it to me. Okay. It didn't with your belongings now, so find a good spot for a home. Well, I was going to cut until I get to the place that where I want him to live, but I guess Agnes is here. Let's go talk to her. Oh, hey, Snuffle. What brings you here? 
Let's chat. I think I left my paperweight at my last place, Snuffle. It's not like I used it much, but still. Alrighty. Since he's a mountain goat and all, let's put it here. <laughs> I picked a spot for a future home to be built. Hope it works. It's sort of at the cliff edge. If you sneeze on the building wrong, it's gonna fall. Perfect. Ah, Tyler, hello, hello. Well, did you find a place for us to build a new home? Of course. Oh, fine news indeed. We don't have to keep our customer waiting, so I'll proceed with construction at supersonic speed. We want our new island friends to start their lives here as quickly as possible after all. Hmm, this has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to move here, but scrambling the cigarette plot only when we need a rise is much too haphazard to avoid doing business. Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Part of improving the infrastructure, we'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. I have to charge small prices for you, but if we get a buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles of the road. Ah, so I can set aside plots in advance. AKA, I have to set up a donation thing, aren't I? Oh well, daily miles. KK Safari. All right, daily routine time. Let's go. Doing some dust in Tutu? Thanks for coming, Twinkles. I wanna chat. It's Monday. What do you think I should do this week? Oh, maybe I'll finally try to beat Super Tuna Casserole Pro. This could be the week. Hmm? What is it, Twinkles? Let's chat. Oh my gosh, I have something that go perfect with your outfit, Tyler. Some trekking shoes? The color combo is so glam, you'll look so good. Folks will say so. Hey, are you Tutu? She's just gonna hand me shoes? You know how expensive those are? Your fashion godmother. Are they green? I swear to God, Tutu, are they green? No, but I'll keep that for an outfit in the future. Thank you, Tutu. Ellie's just doing some more crafting again. It's not for you to stop by, but I'm kind of preoccupied just now. What are you making? Crafting rest standy just to see how I do it. You know what? Sure. Sure, Ellie. Thank you for the card. Alright, and since that happened, uh, let's go open up this message in bottle. Thanks for picking this up. I was walking around yesterday picking up DIY stuff and I came up with a great recipe. It's really easy. My head was stuck in my shirt and I still did the DIY. Be careful when you YDI. That's a joke. The DIY hue with DIH. -I uh, a bone door plate. Uh, okay. Sweet. I learned a recipe for a bone door plate. I don't think that's family friendly, Nintendo. Grass dandy. Sweet, I just learned it for a grass dandy. Yep. And let's head on home. Oh, Stu! Hey. Hi, it's me, Stu. What's the latest? I was thinking about what to do, and I almost had an idea. Almost. Why well, have your can of soda in your hand? What's up, Maru? I want to chat. I heard all about how you were picking up a lot of fruits yesterday, Tyler. That must be why you smell so good, Maru. That's just kind of creepy. Oh, well. Not a lot. Better than nothing. Is this the freezer? <laughs> it is a freezer. Yo, what's up? You hear, you hear that? There's some kind of scary wrestling sound coming from behind you. Huh? That was just some paper stuck to you? Heh. <laughs> wow. I, uh... guess my reactions are all on overdrive. I just wanted to teach you how to sh how to show everyone distress. Quit staring. I'm serious. I learned the stress reaction. What the goodness? Well, fuck. <laughs> uh, this was unexpected. So, uh, my money tree is here. Let's go get all the money off of it, I guess. I'm gonna have to chop it down, though. Since I buried 10,000, I got 10,000. And you know where that goes. I'm gonna put that in the bridge right now and I'm gonna keep talking just so I feel in that space so it doesn't seem like I'm not doing anything when I'm talking. Even though there's nothing really much to talk about with everything that's going on because there's nothing really going on, so to speak. It's unfortunate, but that's just how everything is. 
So I have to keep on talking just to make sure I fill in any dead space. Although I heard Dead Space is actually a really good game, but I'm not really that much into horror, unfortunately. So no matter what I uh, say about Dead Space, it is not something that I probably would play. All right, back to the routine. All right, since I have you here now, let's go look at the Nook Miles. Talk to people. Sure. Collect wood. Sure. I have not popped any balloons yet today. So for it's going to be easy. And whatever that is. Okay. Hello, Tommy. I want the cell. I crafted a load of barrels. <laughs> Let's also sell these apples and the cherries, you know? Thirty-nine thousand. Yes, yeah, sold. All right. Let's go pay off the bridge and I think maybe our house. I don't know. But first, yes, I sold five fruit. First, the bridge as much as possible. Yep, donate. Woohoo, I funded the bridge. Now we'll actually get to go over to that part of the island. And that also frees up our construction goal. Next, let's go try to see if I have enough money for the house loan. It kind of sounds like there's a concert going out on, or going on outside, even though that's technically shouldn't be illegal. <laughs> it's probably just the neighbor having their music up pretty loud. Oh, I'm shy 5,000. Yeah, I think I can get that 5,000 pretty easily though. I just need to go catch some fish. So I'm gonna go catch some fish and then sell it and then come back and I'll have the 8,000 or whatever that I need for my home loan. All right, be right back as I go listen to more Bandmade. If you haven't listened to Bandmade, I honestly, if you're, if you're, if you're degenerate and you're a weeb like me, listen to Bandmade. Yes! I got a red snapper. Looks pretty dapper. Alright, since I caught something new and I have a fossil to do, then I'll put I'll do them here now. Alright. Be right back. Alright, time to go visit Nook's Cranny. I'm selling all of these. Eleven thousand. Sold. I can pay off my debt. Yes, I finished paying off my home loan. I like how Tom Nook in the background. I'm probably gonna have to zoom in on it. But he was clapping when I paid it off. <laughs> he probably clapped because he saw that he got the payment on his fucking computer. <laughs> well, hello, Taylor. Congratulations. You're the proud owner of, of a luxury sized, paid in full home. I can imagine the feeling satisfaction you must have. It's really what could be better. Well, I suppose you could have another room. That might technically be considered better. Oh, don't mind me. I simply can't help myself. But do come see me if you're if I've piqued your interest. Ah, oh, Tyler. Hello, hello. About my home. So you'd like to talk about your home, hmm? Oh, but there's something I should tell you first. Along with the layout assistance, I'm oh, I'm also ready to help when residents want to move their homes. That's something we can do even if you're still repaying your loan. If you're interested, tell me. Yes, yes. All right, I've kept you waiting long enough. How can I help you? I want to expand. Well, hmm. For your home, I think add a new room would be nice. If we add one on the back, it won't change the look of the home, but you get much more space. I'll also keep the construction cost down, relatively speaking. This will require taking out a loan for 348,000 bells. What do you think? Do you want to proceed? Yes, let's do it. Excellent. I'll get the construction started right away. They should be ready for you by tomorrow morning, so exciting exciting indeed. Alright. Let's talk infrastructure. Sell some land. So I'll prep some land for future home except for small feed ten thousand bells. I don't, I don't have 10,000 bells, I'm sorry. 
I want layout changes. Happens to the best of us. So I'm here for, for you. We could talk about layout changes that take full advantage of our island strength. We've been building some, of course, in the elective service, so there are construction costs for you to cover, but don't let a few bills stop you from shaping our island to its most ideal form. Let's talk about location. How much is that going to cost now? <laughs> I'm sorry, Tom, but, uh, yeah, I'm good. All right. Time to head on home. All right. So, as Tom Nook already explained, we're going to get some layout changes in our home, at least. I'm not paying for 50,000 bells to move the museum. And that will add a, a room to the back here. It will be a small room, as normal Animal Crossing rules do uh, proclaim. And we also paid off the uh, the bridge. So we'll actually have a bridge over there, and I can stop gating myself, and I can actually do stuff over there. I still need to build a slope in order for me to go do the, the secondary top part stuff, but... Anywho... Hope you guys enjoyed this day. It was a bit on the short side for me, at least, because it took 48 minutes to record this episode instead of the usual, like, an hour or something. So, actually, hold on. Nah, never mind. I hope you guys enjoyed... I'm going to go edit this episode so I can actually do something else early in the morning. Alright. This has been Tyler. Oh, so Pocket. I hope you have a nice night. See you tomorrow.